Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today I will be showing you how to make this life bar for your PowerPoint game. We have two examples here. We have a, a simple life bar on the left here and on the right we have a more difficult life bar. I hope you can watch this video until the end to learn how to do this for yourself. So let's hit the play button and let's check out the life bar. So here we have life bar one and we have life bar two. So let's click on life bar one to see what it looks like. Awesome. Now let's check out life bar two. Super. All right, you can use this life bar for um, anything you want for a game. You can insert a picture instead of a button here. Uh, we can put a character or you can put whatever you want in here. So uh, let's go ahead and um, open a new slide. So I'll open a blank slide here and I'll just change the background to black so you can see it a little better. All right, let's make the first life bar here. It's very simple. Just go to your shape tools here and grab the um, uh, grab this shape and we'll just drag it until we're happy. You can, whatever length or size you want is really up to you. And we'll remove the, out, um, the border. We don't need the border. And we'll just make a copy of it. We'll copy it three times. All right, that looks good. And now let's open Selection Paint and let's give it a name. Uh, you can give it whatever name you want. I'm just going to give this a simple name. Uh, let's see. I'll call this one three and this one will be uh, number two and this will be uh, one. All right, once you're happy with the shape, let's go to Format Shape here and let's give it a gradient feel. Um, let's choose uh, linear here and I want to choose this one right here. Let's just put some color in here. Um, I'll just make this yellow. So we'll just make this all yellow here. All right, let's go to the second one and let's give it a, uh, a gradient feel. So let's see, I want to make this uh, yellow and this one maybe orange. All right, let's go to the third one and let's give it a green feel. So this will be orange, orange, and maybe a red color here. Oh, maybe it's too dark, maybe a, a little lighter. All right, I think I'm happy with that. All right, now we have the life bar here. Now we need to um, animate this. So let's select them all and let's go to animation and let's choose exit animation here and I'm going to choose wipe and I'm going to choose change the direction to right from the right like that all right awesome now let's put a um, let's insert another shape in here and I'm going to put a button here again it doesn't have to be a button you could put like a picture or anything you want here but I'm just gonna for this example we'll just use we'll make a button all right so I'll make a button here and um, let's just change the size here all right let's give this button a name let's call it life one button so that you can find it later and i'm just going to uh, give it a gradient effect here you don't have to do th do this this is optional um, let's see i'll put it here and i think i'll change the transparency a little bit here 
and okay that looks good and i'm going to go to my three format and let's just change the lighting for the button All right, once you're happy with um, with everything, um, we can go ahead and go to animations and open your animation pane here. And now we have um, the life bar that we animate here. One, two, three. We want to go down to um, trigger here. And remember, you labeled your uh, button life one button. So let's find that and put that there and make sure that each of these animation is on uh, on click. So start on click. All right, so it looks like it works perfectly. And I'm just going to change my font a little bit here. All right, now we need to make a border for our life bar make it a little more prettier. So we'll go to shape tools again and we'll choose any shape you want. I'm just going to choose this shape and I'm just going to draw it over uh, the life bar here, the life bar is here and just drag that off somewhere. Um, you don't have to um, be too worried about the size I just copy and we'll just change this color here and I'll shrink this a little bit and we'll put it inside here and then we'll just um, shrink the shape a little bit. I think this is okay. All right. Now we'll select um, the back shape and then the front shape. And we want to go here and choose subtract. All right. Now let's just drag that over our life bar here. And we'll just shrink it a little bit so that it fits. Uh, perfectly over the life bar without any gaps. Now I'm just going to format the shape a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, let's change the transparency to zero here. I'll make it brighter. And right think that's good and now I can give it a 3d format here I'll just choose this and let's just reverse the color here I'll put yellow first and then I'll put the dark green here all right that looks good now all we need to do is put the sound effects so let's test it out again. Now let's add a sound effects. Let's go to animation, choose one, two, and three here, and go to effects option and go to sound, and go to other sound, and just insert any sound you want. Uh, make sure it's a dot .wav file because um, only dot .wav file can be embedded. And now let's test it out. All right, let's take a look at how we can make the heart life bar. So let's go to shapes here and we want to find heart. Just draw it anywhere you want until you're happy with the size and the shape. And I think I'll just shrink this a little bit until I'm happy with uh, the size. And now I'm going to give this a um, gradient color, remove the background, I'm sorry, the border. We don't need the border. And now we go to gradient and let's give it a color here. Um, maybe I'll choose uh, dark red here and red. And then I'll choose, um, let's see, yellow's okay. And maybe change radio to li linear. And let's see, uh, let's choose this one. I think this one is good. All right, now I'm happy with the shape and now we can do the rest. 
So we need to do um, what we need to do is make a copy of it. And now I'm going to go here and go to Shape Tools, and I want the Thunderbolt shape here. Just draw the Thunderbolt right in the middle of the heart because we're going to make the heart split. So we have to um, create it. So let's see. Let's just zoom in here a little bit and just angle this until it's right, until you're happy um, with your uh, shape. All right. Once you're happy with that, we want to click on the heart back here and then the Thunderbolt. And we want to go to this little tool here and choose Subtract. And now we have a cracked heart. Now we have to make this into two pieces. So let's copy this to set it aside here. And now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to choose a square shape tool and just highlight over one uh, side of the heart. Click on the heart here and then the shape and then go to subtract again. All right, now you want to do the exact same thing for the other side of the heart. So choose a shape here to cover this side. And then we want to click on the heart in the back and then this shape and then go to this tool here again and hit subtract. And now we have two pieces of heart that we can animate. Let's give it a name. Uh, you can give it whatever name you want um, as long as it's easy for you to find it later. I'll call this um, maybe right. And I'll call this one left. All right, let's make our heart pretty. So let's select all the pieces here and let's go to Format Shape and let's drop a shadow in there. And I'll pick uh, purple here and change the blur to zero and also give it a glow. And I'm going to pick red. All right, it's time to animate our heart. So let's choose the left here and go to animation and choose path animation and choose line. And we want to choose effect option left. Now we want to do the same for the right. Go to path animation, line and effect option right. All right, now we just have to bring the animation in a little bit. So click on this, hit shift and just drag it in a little bit until you're happy uh, with the uh, the line animation. So do want, want to do the same thing for the left side as well. So let's just click on it, hit shift and drag it in. And I think this is OK. Let's just do a little bit more. And I think this is OK. All right, now we want to put a spin animation on the heart here. So let's go here and choose spin and we want it to go the other way. So go to effects option and counterclockwise. And you want to do the same for the right side of the heart as well. So choose spin and I think this is okay. And now we're going to um, make the heart here disappear. So we'll choose uh, this one right here, disappear. And uh, let's see here. We'll just move this up. And for the left here, we want to choose, uh, give it a little bounce. And for the spin, 
we want it to turn uh, 10 degrees. And we want to do the same for here. 10 degrees. All right. And we want to make this duration to 0.5. And this the same, 0.5. And with previous and with previous as well. Now go here to the right line animation. We want to put it to 0.5 and also with previous. Go ahead and do the same with the left side. Now we need to make the shatter heart disappear. The left and the right side disappear. So choose both. And we're going to choose um, this animation right here. The sink down animation. And make sure it's with previous. And let's give it a uh, delay time of 0.5 second. And I think this is okay. All right. Now we can uh, make a button for this. All right, just like the first life bar button, we're going to choose a shape uh, for the second life bar here. So um, I'll choose this same one just for an example. Again, you can use whatever you want. Um, you can put a character or you can put whatever you want instead of a button here. But for this demonstration, we'll just make the exact same button, but call it a uh, life. We'll call it a uh, life two button. So let's do the same thing. Let's give it a gradient color. And I think I will choose a dark purple and maybe a red, uh, dark red and red color here. And remove the border. We don't need the border here. And I'll just change the transparency a little bit, just like the first one. And let's see. I think that's good. And I'll call this um, Life 2 button. Once we are happy uh, with the shape, let's give it a name. I'll call this Life 2 button so we can find it later. So let's go to animation here. Let's select all of this and let's go to on click and find Life 2 button. And make sure this is on click. The first, uh, the first animation should be on click and everything else should be with previous. All right, let's take a look at it. Looks good. We just have to change the order of the heart now. Choose left and right, or right and left here. And we'll just um, put it behind heart. Looks good. And now we just have to make a copy of it. So select, make sure you select everything. Copy and paste. And we want to do it one more time, copy paste, and just align it until you're happy with the position. Now you want to go into animation here, and you want to select all of the new heart you just created. Go to on click and choose um, life button two here. And make sure all these heart are set on click, only the heart part here. And let's give it a sound effect. Let's go to other sound. And I'll choose the uh, the shatter sound effects here, and let's test it out. All right, awesome! I hope you guys enjoy making your life bar together with me today. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel. I would like to also say a big huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And if you're new to this channel and would like to get more contents like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I 
put them up on this channel. If you want to help out this channel even further, I'll leave a link in the description uh, below this video and you can check it out to see how you can help this channel. Again, I want to say thank you and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.